Hello and welcome to this video demonstration of the new Delayatron software for the Atmegatron. The Delayatron adds a crunchy 8-bit delay effect to the Atmegatron whilst retaining a lot of the classic features. This software is a major update for the Atmegatron and is possibly the most creative alternative software version yet. Delay parameters include delay length, sample rate and feedback. The sample rate can also be modulated by the envelope and LFO, which creates some really cool effects. There's a low pass and high pass filter which can be placed either on the output mix or after the delay. The oscillator waveforms have changed too. They are now 256 samples long as opposed to 32, and are derived from Adventure Kids' amazing waveform library, which is available here. I'll take you through these parameters now. So I've just uploaded the software and I've switched it on, so I'll play a few notes. You can hear it's a fairly standard delay sound, but it only takes a little bit of tweaking to get some pretty cool sound effects out of it. Uh, I'll just start off with the obvious parameter dry wet mix, which is completely dry, completely wet there. Uh, I'll also just change it to a sine wave because uh, it will be slightly easier. slightly easier to hear what's going on with the sine wave. The ne so the next parameter is the sample rate. Now this controls the delay length. There's actually two ways to control the de delay length. Uh, this is one of them and this actually alters the sample rate of the delay and as you'll hear... As you go further clockwise, obviously the sample rate gets more and more crunchy until it's very, very distorted. The other way to control the d delay time is using this parameter here where the bit crusher used to be. This doesn't affect the sample rate, but the range of the delay time alteration is less. but it is really good for doing those very short delay sounds. Uh, next up is the feedback, which goes from no feedback to 100% feedback. Next thing I'll show you is the distort mode. The distort mode is the green mode when you're in time delay. Uh, if I push it now, uh, what this allows it to do is allow the, allows the feedback to go beyond 100%, uh, so to get more and more distorted over time. It also adds the waves together without reducing their level first, so overall it allows for a much more distorted sound. And I'm not playing it now, uh, it's just feeding back, and I can reduce it. The next thing to show is that the sample rate can be affected by the LFO. This is done in red mode here, sample rate LFO. When you do it with small amounts, it creates nice sort of vibrato effects. And similarly, you can use the envelope, the filter pitch envelope to affect the sample rate as well. can change that envelope shape. Okay, next up I will show you the filter. So I will go back to a square wave just because it's slightly easier to show you what it sounds like. So normally it's a low pass filter. Fairly standard low pass filter. And then if you go to the classic filter type symbol, uh, you can either bypass it or filter 2 is a high pass. And the green mode on the filter type function allows you to set where the filter actually occurs. When it, the knob is red, it's happening on the overall output mix. When it's green, it's happening before the output mix and after the delay. So it's just affecting the delay. And you can also modulate the filter cutoff frequency by the LFO. Just put it into green mode and turn the knob. And just like with the Classic Megatron, you've got all the different 
waveforms. So I can put it up to a square. And if you combine this with a bit of the sample right LFO, you can do some really cool things with a combination of the two effects. I'll just quickly show you some of the new waveforms which are from the Adventure Kid website. They're absolutely fantastic. I can't recommend them enough. I've given you the basic waveforms, but on top of that, here's some, a few examples of a few others. Actually, this one here on Green Bank uh, is a piano sound. I'll just turn the portmento off. And there's loads of others. Uh, there's a list on the website to download with all of them. Little vocal format. Bass guitar. Organ. And just loads of different ones. One of the key differences with this software version is the way that pitch works. It's no longer linear, it's, it now has to be uh, rounded to the nearest note. So this means that when you put a pitch LFO, it has an interesting effect, as you can hear. So if I turn up pitch LFO, you can hear it's rounding to the nearest note. And that's the same, obviously, if you put the pitch envelope on. If you do want to achieve that subtle vibrato effect, your best bet is actually to adjust the sample rate LFO uh, very slightly. One final thing is that if your audio software is running at a very high sample rate, you may notice a slightly noisy waveform. This is actually because I've had to halve the pulse width modulation rate to 32 kilohertz. So it's not completely uh, wiped out by the output filter. It's obviously a frequency above your hearing range, so nothing to worry about. And that's about it. I hope to put some demos up on SoundCloud soon. And be sure to join the Salisbury Synths forum too. And feel free to ask for any requests on there if you have any. See you soon. Thank you.